Mae Marsh, a name synonymous with the silent film era, was an accomplished actress who left an indelible mark on the industry. Born in 1894, she began her career as a child actor and quickly rose to fame for her natural talent and emotional depth. Throughout her career, Marsh appeared in numerous classic films, including The Birth of a Nation and Intolerance, both directed by D.W. Griffith. Her performances in these films showcased her versatility and range, earning her critical acclaim and cementing her status as a leading lady. Marsh's work transcended the boundaries of the silent film era, and she continued to act in talkies throughout the 1930s. She even earned a nomination for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in The Champ in 1931. Despite the challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated industry, Marsh persevered and became a trailblazer for future generations of actresses. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, inspiring awe and admiration for her contributions to this classic art form. Mae Marsh was a renowned actress, known for her work in silent films during the early 20th century. You might recall her from classics like The Birth of a Nation or The Little American. Did you know that she was discovered by D.W. Griffith while working as a salesgirl? Or that she was one of the first actors to be honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Perhaps you have a cherished memory of watching one of her films for the first time, or a personal experience related to this classic star. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into the life and career of Mae Marsh, prepare to discover many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this iconic figure. From her humble beginnings to her rise to stardom, this actress's journey is one you won't want to miss. So keep watching to learn more. Mae Marsh, an actress who left an indelible mark on early Hollywood, was born in Madrid, New Mexico, in 1894. Her family later moved to San Francisco, where she spent her formative years. The actress's upbringing was modest. Her father worked as a blacksmith, while her mother stayed at home to care for Mae and her siblings. Marsh's exposure to the world of acting began when she was just a teenager. She often accompanied her older sister, actress Marguerite Marsh, to the sets of her films. It was here that Mae first fell in love with the art of storytelling through motion pictures. One of the key figures who influenced Mae's path to stardom was D.W. Griffith, the director who discovered her and cast her in several of his groundbreaking films. Griffith saw a great potential in the young actress and became a mentor to her, helping her hone her craft and guiding her through the early years of her career. Another significant influence on May's career was her co-star and fellow actress, Lillian Gish. The two women formed a close bond both on and off screen, and Gish became a role model for Marsh as they worked together on several films. May's early exposure to the world of film and the guidance of influential figures like Griffith and Gish helped shape her into one of the most celebrated actresses of her time. Her natural talent, combined with the training and support she received, allowed her to make a lasting impact on the film industry and leave behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. Mae Marsh was an American actress who made a significant impact in the early years of Hollywood. Born in 1894, she began her film career at the age of 16, quickly becoming a popular leading lady. Marsh's ability to convey emotion with subtlety and authenticity set her apart from her peers, earning her recognition as a talented actress. Throughout her career, Marsh appeared in over 200 films, including several directed by D.W. Griffith. Her performance in The Birth of a Nation catapulted her to stardom, and she went on to appear in other Griffith classics such as Intolerance and Broken Blossoms. Marsh's work with Griffith showcased her versatility as an actress, as she played a range of roles from innocent young girls to strong-willed women. Marsh's talent extended beyond her work with Griffith. In the 1920s, she transitioned to comedic roles, appearing in films such as The Freshman alongside Harold Lloyd. Her ability to adapt to different genres and styles of acting demonstrated her skill and dedication to her craft. Despite the rise of talkies in the late 1920s, Marsh continued to act in films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. She even appeared in a few television shows in the 1950s. Marsh's career spanned over four decades, and her contributions to the film industry remain significant to this day. Marsha's legacy extends beyond her film appearances. She was one of the first actresses to become a major star in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations of actresses. Her ability to convey emotion with subtlety and authenticity continues to inspire actors today. In conclusion, Mae Marsh was a trailblazing actress who made significant contributions to the film industry. 
Her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft earned her recognition as a talented actress and set the stage for future generations of actresses. May Marsh's passion for acting was ignited at a young age. Born in 1894, she was the eldest of six children in a working-class family. As a child, she often attended local theater performances, where she became enamored with the art of storytelling through drama. Her aunt, a seamstress for the D.W. Griffiths Film Company, secured her a job as an extra in the movies. One fateful day, Marsh was chosen to replace an actress who failed to show up for work. This opportunity allowed her to showcase her natural talent and dedication to the craft. Griffith, impressed by her performance, began casting her in more significant roles, ultimately leading to her breakthrough role in the groundbreaking film The Birth of a Nation. Marsh's passion for acting was fueled by her desire to escape the confines of her humble upbringing and create a better life for herself. She once said, I wanted to be an actress more than anything else in the world. It was my dream, and I was determined to make it come true. Throughout her career, Marsh continued to push herself and explore new acting techniques. She became known for her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance, making her a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Her dedication to her craft and her unwavering passion for acting left an indelible mark on the film industry and continue to inspire aspiring actors today. May Marsh's career as a silent film actress took off when she bravely agreed to play a role that other actresses refused. The part, which required her to wear a grass skirt and go bare-legged, was originally intended for Mary Pickford in the film Man's Genesis. However, when Pickford declined, Marsh saw an opportunity and took it, ultimately leading to her big break. One of her notable roles was as Mistress Pearly Sweet in the classic film Three Godfathers. Interestingly, Mildred Natwick, who played Marsh's niece in the film, was only two years younger than Ward Bond and 11 years younger than Marsh who portrayed her character's aunt and uncle. Marsh's willingness to take on challenging roles and her ability to bring characters to life on screen were just a few of the reasons she became a well-respected actress in her time. Her contributions to the world of silent films have left a lasting impact, and her performances continue to be celebrated by film enthusiasts today. May Marsh, a budding actress, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Born in 1894, she grew up in a large family where money was often scarce. Despite these financial struggles, she was determined to pursue her dream of acting. Marsha's journey to stardom was not an easy one. She began her career at the age of 13, working as an extra in silent films. However, industry skepticism was rife, and many doubted her potential. Marsha's petite stature and youthful appearance often led to her being typecast in innocent, childlike roles. Despite these obstacles, Marsha's resilience shone through. She refused to be limited by others' perceptions and sought out more challenging roles. She began to hone her craft, developing a unique acting style that set her apart from her peers. Marsha's big break came in 1915 when she starred in D.W. Griffith's epic film, The Birth of a Nation. The film was a massive success, and Marsha's performance was widely praised. However, the film's controversial subject matter and racist undertones have since overshadowed its initial success. Marsh continued to work in the film industry, appearing in numerous silent films throughout the 1910s and 1920s. She became known for her ability to convey complex emotions with just a glance or a gesture. Despite the challenges she faced, Marsh's talent and determination helped her to carve out a successful career in Hollywood. In addition to her acting skills, Marsh was also known for her creativity and resourcefulness. She often worked behind the scenes, helping to write and produce films. She was not afraid to take risks or try new things, and this adventurous spirit helped her to overcome the obstacles she faced. Today, Mae Marsh is remembered as a trailblazing actress who paved the way for future generations. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence filmmakers and actors around the world. Despite the challenges she faced, Marsh's resilience and determination helped her to achieve her dreams and leave a lasting impact on the film industry. Upon her passing, May Marsh was laid to rest in Pacific Crest Cemetery, Redondo Beach, Los Angeles County, California. Her final resting place is Grave 10, Lot 838, Section 5. The actress had an impressive career, appearing in over 200 films throughout her life. She graced the silver screen with her talent in a wide range of productions. In her final film, Cheyenne Autumn, May Marsh portrayed a woman. This classic western, directed by John Ford, was a fitting end to her illustrious career. It allowed her to showcase her skills one last time 
leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Indeed, May Marsh's contributions to the world of film are noteworthy. Her body of work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by movie enthusiasts of all ages. In the early 1900s, May Marsh began her career as a teenager in silent films. Her breakthrough moment came in 1915 with D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation, where she played the role of Flora. The film, though controversial, was a groundbreaking project that showcased Marsh's talent and versatility. Critics and collaborators alike took notice of Marsh's performance. Film historian Richard Schickel described her as a natural who could suggest a whole range of emotions with just a look. Her ability to convey complex emotions without dialogue was particularly impressive in the silent film era. Following the birth of a nation, Marsh continued to make an impact in films such as Intolerance and The Little Princess. Her performance in The Marriage Circle in 1924 was another turning point in her career. Directed by Ernst Lubitsch, this classic comedy film showcased Marsh's comedic timing and acting range. Peer actors and actresses also recognized Marsh's talent. Mary Pickford, a contemporary and rival of Marsh, once said, May had a rare gift for making audiences believe in her. She was a truly great actress. Marsh's career spanned over five decades, and she continued to work in films and television until the 1960s. Her contributions to the world of cinema are still celebrated today, and her breakthrough moments continue to resonate with audiences and filmmakers alike. May Marsh's career in the 1950s was marked by several awards and honors. In 1952, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, located at 653838 Hollywood Boulevard. This recognition cemented her place as a classic Hollywood actress. Throughout her lifetime, Marsh was also honored for her contributions to the film industry. In 1971, she was awarded an Honorary Academy Award for her lifetime achievement in motion pictures. This prestigious award was given in recognition of her long and distinguished career. Marsh's work in the silent film era was particularly celebrated. In 1975, she was honored with a retrospective of her films at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. This tribute highlighted her significant contributions to the early days of cinema. In addition to these accolades, Marsh was also a frequent guest of honor at film festivals and industry events. She was often invited to speak about her experiences in Hollywood and to share her insights on the art of filmmaking. Despite the passage of time, May Marsh's legacy continues to be celebrated and honored. Her contributions to the world of film remain an important part of cinema history. The awards and honors she received throughout her career are a testament to her talent, dedication, and enduring impact on the industry. May Marsh, a prominent figure in early Hollywood, was known for her natural and authentic acting style. Unlike many of her contemporaries, she avoided overly dramatic gestures and instead focused on subtle expressions and movements. This unique approach allowed her to convey complex emotions with great depth and sincerity. One of Marsh's most notable films is The Birth of a Nation, where she played the role of Flora Cameron. Despite the film's controversial subject matter, Marsh's performance was widely praised for its emotional intensity and vulnerability. Her ability to captivate audiences with her nuanced portrayal of a young woman in distress set her apart from her peers. Marsh's personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in her work. Growing up in a large family, she developed a strong sense of empathy and compassion, which was evident in her portrayal of vulnerable and innocent characters. Her advocacy for women's rights and social justice also influenced her film choices, as she often selected roles that highlighted the struggles and triumphs of women in society. In The Little American, Marsh played the role of Angela, an American woman caught in the midst of World War I. The film explores themes of patriotism, loyalty, and sacrifice, all of which resonated with Marsh's own values and beliefs. Her heartfelt performance helped to elevate the film's message and solidify her status as a leading actress of her time. Marsh's artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in her personal experiences and values. Her unique approach to acting, characterized by subtlety and emotional depth, allowed her to create unforgettable performances that continue to captivate audiences to this day. In the spring of 1918, the young Ernest Hemingway claimed to be engaged to Mae Marsh. The 18-year-old Hemingway was preparing to go to Italy as an ambulance driver with the Red Cross and stated that he had met Marsh at a party. However, their engagement was short-lived and Hemingway later said that Marsh had broken it off. When asked about this incident 48 years later, Marsh expressed regret that she had never had the chance to know Hemingway. In 1930, 
May Marsh became a member of the Dominoes, a female auxiliary of the Maskers. She served on the cards committee alongside Adele Rowland and Mistress Frank Lloyd. Although Marsh's birth date is commonly given as 1895, U.S. Census records from 1900 indicate that she was actually born on November 9, 1894. These records also reveal that her father, S.C. Marsh, was not only alive in June 1900, but was also a bartender, rather than a railroad auditor, as is often reported. Mae Marsh, an actress who graced the silent film era, left an indelible mark on the industry with her unique style and emotive performances. Her work in D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation and Intolerance showcased her exceptional talent and versatility. Marsh's ability to convey complex emotions through facial expressions and body language was unparalleled for her time. As film historian Kevin Brownlow put it, Mae Marsh was the first great actress of the American screen she could say more with her eyes than most actresses could with dialogue. The actress's influence extended beyond her contemporaries, inspiring future generations of filmmakers and actors. Renowned director Martin Scorsese has cited Marsh as a significant influence, praising her incredible emotional range and naturalistic acting style. Marsh's impact on storytelling is also noteworthy. She excelled in portraying characters that were both strong and vulnerable, challenging gender norms of the time. Her performances helped pave the way for more complex and nuanced female characters in cinema. In addition, Marsh's contributions to film technique were substantial. She was one of the first actresses to use her body as a tool for storytelling, often conveying emotions through subtle movements and gestures. This innovative approach influenced future actors and directors, contributing to the evolution of film language. In conclusion, Mae Marsh's legacy continues to resonate in the film industry. Her groundbreaking performances and influential style have left an indelible impact on both her contemporaries and future generations, solidifying her place as a pioneering figure in early American cinema. Mae Marsh's career was marked by both triumph and tragedy. As a young actress, she became a symbol of innocence and purity in D.W. Griffith's groundbreaking film, The Birth of a Nation. However, her personal life was marked by great sadness. Marsh's first husband, Gin Big Boy Williams, was an abusive alcoholic. The couple married in 1914, when Marsh was just 17 years old, and divorced in 1923. Marsh later revealed that Williams had physically abused her throughout their marriage. Tragically, Marsh's second husband, cameraman Hal Moore, also struggled with alcoholism. The couple married in 1926, and had two children together, but their relationship was plagued by Moore's drinking. Marsh eventually filed for divorce in 1934, citing Moore's extreme cruelty. Despite these personal struggles, Marsh continued to work in Hollywood for several more decades. She appeared in over 200 films and was known for her versatility and range as an actress. However, she never achieved the same level of success or acclaim as she had in her early career. Marsh passed away in 1968 at the age of 72, leaving behind a complex and often tragic legacy. Her contributions to the world of film were significant, but her personal life was marked by heartache and pain. Nevertheless, her work continues to be celebrated and studied by film enthusiasts around the world. Mae Marsh, the actress, was known for her work in silent films during the early 20th century. However, her life extended beyond the silver screen, and her personal values often influenced her career. Marsh was a passionate advocate for animal rights. She used her platform to raise awareness about the humane treatment of animals and was involved in various animal welfare organizations. In 1939, she even served as the honorary president of the Hollywood Dog Club. The actress was also a devoted mother and wife. She married three times and had three children. Her family was her top priority, and she often took breaks from her acting career to focus on them. Marsha's love for nature was another significant aspect of her life. She enjoyed spending time outdoors and often incorporated her appreciation for the natural world into her films. For instance, in the movie The Bluebird, she played a character who embarked on a journey to find the bluebird of happiness in the forest. In addition to her love for animals and nature, Marsh was also a philanthropist. She was involved in various charitable organizations and often donated her time and resources to help those in need. During World War I, she volunteered with the Red Cross and even traveled to France to provide aid to soldiers. Marsh's personal values and interests often informed her work as an actress. Her advocacy for animal rights, love for nature, and dedication to philanthropy were all reflected in her films. She used her platform to raise awareness about important issues and inspire positive change. 
In conclusion, Mae Marsh was not just an actress. She was a passionate advocate, devoted mother, and philanthropist. Her personal values and interests shaped her career and left a lasting impact on the film industry and the world. As a true icon of the silent film era, Mae Marsh left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Her work in groundbreaking films like The Birth of a Nation and Intolerance showcased her remarkable talent and versatility. Despite the passing of time, her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. One of the most striking aspects of Mae Marsh's filmography is the range of characters she brought to life. From innocent young girls to strong-willed women, she demonstrated a remarkable ability to inhabit diverse roles with depth and nuance. Her performances were not just acting, but a form of storytelling that captivated audiences and etched unforgettable images onto the silver screen. Beyond her acting prowess, Mae Marsh was also a testament to the enduring power of classic cinema. She worked with some of the most renowned filmmakers of her time, including D.W. Griffith, and helped to shape the cinematic language that we know today. As we reflect on Mae Marsh's contributions to the world of entertainment, we invite you to share your thoughts on her work and legacy in the comments below. What are your favorite Mae Marsh films or performances? How has her work impacted your appreciation for classic cinema? Don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family and subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits that have shaped entertainment. Together, we can keep the legacy of Mae Marsh and other classic actors alive for future generations to